My name is Calvin and I love making stuff. I got my first 3D printer in seventh grade and started off printing online models. But after I learned CAD from a class, I knew I could monetize this passion. My first projects were from massive sword design made for small printers by being supported with metal rods. I also made this collapsible knife from Vama, which like all of my projects was designed in part so it could be printed in color on my single extruder printer. I also made the Star Wars themed ring box for my client's proposal. It has a complex mechanism to open the iris ring when the top corners are twisted and raise the pedestal when the bottom corners are twisted. I also made these swords for my sister's favorite anime as a gift, which took over a month and a half and several kilos of filament. You might notice that these swords are a meter long and my printer is not. I was able to work around this with clever design, but I knew it was time for an upgrade. My first commission with this larger printer was a massive handcuff from a cosplay that was over 60 centimeters wide. I also made a custom butterfly knife, which earned me a reputation of cosplay weapon specialist. My biggest commission to date though was a unique weapon from a manga, a combination of an axe and a mace. I can't list them all, but here are some other things I've designed and printed myself. My passion for coding began way before then though, making small projects like Pong and Donkey Kong on my Arduino. I first learned Java to write Minecraft plugins for a server I ran, where me and several friends had recreated our middle school block for block in-game during the pandemic. My Java experience helped me during AP Comp Sci-A, where I wrote a Wordle bot to automatically generate and solve the popular puzzle. Last year, I took an explorative Comp Sci class, where I wrote my own programming language interpreter from the ground up in Java. It can define functions, get user input, run loops, utilize recursion, and more. Every part was written from scratch, making it highly customizable. My next project was a particle simulation to study emergent behavior. The math of the rendering system was done by hand, optimized for this specific project. Properties can be changed, such as the number of particles or particle types, as well as the attraction rules. Currently, I'm running computer vision software to extract edges from images to assist me in the 3D design process, intersecting my two major passions. I've spent years making stuff, and I can't wait to see what I'll do in the future.